Quick question, what exactly is secularism? I mean, depending on where you get your news and information, you might think it's an evil attack on Christianity, an enlightened metaphysical viewpoint, or a governing principle of the Soviet Union. All of these perspectives are wrong. Secularism is neither an attack on any particular religion nor an endorsement of any metaphysical viewpoint. And at certain points in history, the government of the Soviet Union actively cracked down on religion. That's actually a total violation of the principle of secularism. The term was coined by British writer George Jacob Holyoke to describe his views of promoting social order that is neither connected to religion nor critical of it. As he put it, secularism is not an argument against Christianity. It is one independent of it. It does not question the pretensions of Christianity. It advances others. At its core, secularism can be defined as without reference to religion. So there can be secular morals, secular science, or secular bunny rabbits. In fact, the best bunny rabbits are secular. Most commonly, though, the term secularism is used to refer to state secularism. State secularism is the separation of government institutions from religious institutions, or as it is most frequently put, the separation of church and state. In practice, this means that a secular government is one that does not involve itself in religious affairs. Secularism as a school of thought is not a monolith. Different secularists sometimes have diverging policy perspectives regarding religion. Take, for example, religious exemptions for police uniforms. Some secularists believe that religious minorities should have the right to wear slightly adapted uniforms to meet the restrictions of their religions. For example, allowing Sikhs to wear their turbans rather than a police cap. The principle at work here is that not allowing this uniform exemption would discriminate against Sikhs, preventing them from participating in an important state function. Other secularists hold that there should be no religious exemption here because the uniform represents the authority of the government and having religious identifiers intermingled with a representation of state authority is itself a violation of the principle of secularism. These two opposing arguments are not necessarily equally good, but they are equally secular. The American Constitution establishes the country as a secular state with two clauses, the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause, both found back to back in the First Amendment, which reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. In general, secularism seeks to promote a society in which there is no official state religion, the government does not promote or condemn any particular religion or religious viewpoint, everyone is allowed to believe whatever they want and practice whatever religion they choose, no one is discriminated against based on their faith, religious organizations have no role in determining government policy, the government has no role in determining the precepts of any religious organization, the rights of religious minorities are protected. The religion of an individual has no impact on his or her rights or societal status. And all members of a society are considered equal in all regards regardless of religious associations or faith. So don't get it twisted, secularism is not atheism. State secularism is about allowing a community of diverse religious perspectives to govern themselves without allowing the power of the state to put its thumb on the scale in regards to religion. In a well-functioning secular society, people of all faiths, or lack thereof, should be able to come together to form the rules of their community without reference to religious perspectives. Secularism is not about believing in God or gods or not believing in those things. It's about what we can all agree on regardless of our spirituality, faith, or metaphysical viewpoints.